Nosara Wildlife, a small group making a big difference. Committed to helping injured animals in and around Nosara, Costa Rica, Nosara Wildlife was started by two groups of dedicated individuals, Refugio Animales de Nosara and Cebu Sanctuary. Both these organizations developed out of the need to address a serious problem they encountered shortly upon moving to Nosara from the U.S. Cebu Sanctuary and the Refugio share a common mission to rescue injured, orphaned, and displaced wild animals and provide them immediate medical care, rehabilitation, and eventual reintegration back into the wild. The incredible biodiversity and beauty of Costa Rica's Nosara is known worldwide. This biodiversity is at risk on many fronts. Fragmentation of animals' habitat through human encroachment and development is threatening Nosara's wildlife, mirroring situations worldwide where increased development has led to a decrease or even loss of a species. Electrocution of howler monkeys is the most serious problem resulting from human development. In 2009 alone, 132 howler monkeys were electrocuted and brought to Nosara Wildlife for help. Who knows how many died in the wild? We must stop the shocks. The University of Costa Rica study from 2007 estimates that howler monkey populations dropped from 102,000 in 1995 to approximately 36,000 in 2007, a decline of 67% in 12 years. Who knows how low their numbers are now? The reality is, their habitat is disappearing, and so are the monkeys. When howler monkeys encounter uninsulated power lines and transformers, mistaking them for just another vine, the resulting shock kills or seriously maims them. Those that survive need immediate medical care and attention if they are to live. Providing this care to the monkeys is just one of the jobs the Nosara Wildlife Foundation undertakes. Prevention of these electrocutions is the first priority. Treatment should be the next priority, but is really the one that takes most of their time and resources owing to the severity of the problem. Rescue and immediate medical care are the first stages of response. Rehabilitation is the next long step for these animals if they are to go on to live a normal life in the wild. Releasing animals back into the wild is the ultimate goal and provides the joy that sustains them through the whole process. We are working with ISE, the Costa Rican Electric Institute, to install monkey bridges and insulated power lines throughout Nosara. We need to raise more funds to help ISE with supplies and manpower to exchange the uninsulated power lines with insulated lines and to purchase and install transformer insulator boots. This is what an uninsulated transformer looks like. This is what an insulated transformer looks like. This is what an uninsulated power line looks like. This is what an insulated power line looks like. This preventative measure costs very little when compared to the costs of caring for injured animals and the decimation of a species. Millions of visitors are drawn to Costa Rica each year because of the natural beauty and wildlife. Costa Rica is proud of its green image and that it generates over 93% of its energy in a sustainable manner. But the delivery of this energy also needs to be green. If the Costa Rican government were to mandate that the power company must use insulated power delivery in habitat areas, much of this problem would disappear. 
Conservative estimates indicate that at least several hundred howler monkeys and other arboreal wildlife have suffered horrific deaths due to electrocution in the last 10 years in and around Nosara, and those are only the ones we know of. But they need your help to be able to help more animals that are in dire need of it now and to put an end to this problem in the long run. You can help by looking at electric lines and transformers around your house and neighborhood. Check to see if there are tree limbs hanging over or touching the wires or transformers, or any other way a monkey could climb onto the lines. This transformer was responsible for the deaths of six monkeys before the Costa Rican power company insulated the boots and changed the wire to insulated cable. If you're building a new home, insulate your power line. Or better yet, bury it. It will make your home more beautiful and protect the animals. The sanctuary's casita enables us to care for and rehabilitate the animals brought to the sanctuary and place them into the step-down release program for release back into the wild. Here are the habitats for rescued animals at the refugio's facilities. Animals not likely to survive back in the wild will receive lifetime attended care in an enriched environment at the sanctuary. Here we are releasing rescued monkeys back into the wild with the help of Manai, the Ministry of Environment and Energy. By working with other organizations and groups, we seek to encourage respect for animals' lives and the preservation of their habitat. Costa Rican vets, biologists, and zoologists meet regularly with the founders of Cebu Sanctuary and the Refugio. This is Miracle Charlie, saved through the efforts of the Refugio and Cebu Sanctuary. Here is Charlie today at the Harmony Habitat in Cebu Sanctuary, going through the Step Down Release Program. He is slated for release back into the wild within the next several months. The Nosara Wildlife Foundation has seen increasing numbers of animals needing attention and increasing cost to provide care for these animals. The founders of the Nisara Wildlife Foundation, along with devoting their time, energy, homes and land, also fund much of the growing budget needed to provide care for and rehabilitate the animals. But they need your help to be able to help more animals that are in dire need of it now and to put an end to this problem in the long run. Future plans include enlarging and improving the Harmony step-down habitat at Cebu Sanctuary, which will allow them to accommodate more monkeys. Also, building an emergency wildlife treatment facility with an adjacent infant care center is a top priority. But we need substantial funding to make these necessities a reality and to continue our daily operations. Your donation will make a significant difference. Cebu Sanctuary and the Refugio are Costa Rican nonprofit associations and enjoy 501c3 U.S. tax deductible donation status through the Friends of Nosara. Donations of equipment, building materials, time and services are always needed, as well as, of course, monetary contributions. Please contact either Brenda or Vicki by visiting nosarawildlife.com and make a donation today. They deserve our protection. Join our fight to ensure their survival. <laughs>